Welcome to the first part in our series, the pros and cons of buying a vacation home. In part one, we will look at why vacation homes are not investment property. Here we have a really nice vacation home and quite often they're sold as optimal real estate investments. And vacation homes, generally speaking, are not the most optimal real estate investments you can make. So most buyers or potential buyers of vacation homes really don't clearly have a good understanding what it is they're exactly buying. So in this video chapter, chapter one of a 15 part series that we've produced, we will define what a vacation home actually is, we'll define what investment property is, and then we're gonna explain the difference between the two so you don't get confused and start mixing them around. We'll discuss the most common misunderstanding buyers make, uh, confusing these two items, and we'll allow you to clearly understand what your objective is when you're about to buy a vacation home. This will help you avoid what we consider to be the most costly and most common first mistake vacation home buyers make. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. This is part one of a 15 part series. That way you'll get each new part as it comes out. Be sure to share and like it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. So this chapter, we're gonna discuss the buyer confusion that we often see from new vacation home buyers. Quite often, they don't understand the difference between what a vacation home is and what investment property is. And they often think they're the same thing and they're not. Often, we'll see very clever salespeople tell you that they are the same thing and we're gonna explain why they're not. Clever salespeople quite often are able to manipulate vacation home buyers because they can sell them the concept of having a beautiful vacation home in the sun. But then what they'll drop in is these are great investments and you get to make a lot of money as well. We're gonna explain why this isn't necessarily the case. So to get a clearer understanding, the first thing we have to define or look at is what is a vacation home? And according to the Real Estate Dictionary, uh, vacation homes are dwelling other than an owner's primary residence that is used for recreational purposes, i.e. vacation. This is a very def different definition to what is investment property. When we look at the definition of investment property in the Real Estate Dictionary, it tells us that the definition of investment property is purchasing a piece of real estate with the intention of generating rental income or the property going up in value or both. And an optimal piece of investment property obviously will allow you to maximize these returns. So this brings us to our second question. What is the difference then between a vacation home and investment property? This is a good question. And what you have to do is really look at the objective. So if you're buying a vacation home, your primary objective is to use it for vacation. If you're buying investment property, your primary objective is to make a financial return. So here you see the guy on vacation, and here you see another guy who's making money. Very different pictures. But oh no, we hear a lot of people say, and very clever salespeople, can a vacation home be investment property as well? We were told that it can. Well, as we've explained, the two definitions are clearly not the same. A vacation home and investment property are very different items. So if you're buying a property for investment, buy a property that has the highest rate of return. If you're buying a vacation home, buy a property you will enjoy for vacation the most. It is possible to make a financial return on a vacation home, but more often than not, it's not gonna make an optimal return on your investment as would a pure investment property. 
Okay, so now we've cleared up some definitions, which are quite simple. We can look at, okay, what action steps do we need to do to proceed? Well, the first one is if your main objective is you want to buy a vacation home, you go ahead and proceed and begin the process and you can use this series to buy your vacation home. But if your main objective is to buy investment property, you need to analyze all types of real estate investment. You need to look at the returns, the amount of risk, the stability of cash flow, and ideally look at investment property that is close within your own locality to where you live. So in summary, we need to be clear. We've looked at what a vacation home is, and we've looked at what investment property is. And obviously these two items are very different. You need to be clear on your objectives. Are you looking to buy a vacation home? Are you looking to buy investment property? Once you know what your objective is, that's gonna determine what type of real estate you buy. Don't be confused between the two. In our next video, we will show you how to look at your finances, come up with your vacation home financial ratios, and come up with a plan to buy a vacation home. Uh, this is part one, this video, of a 15-part series. Um, we're based here in Orlando, where we have about 40,000 vacation homes in our market, so we see all kinds of vacation home owners and all types of vacation homes and lots of different scenarios that we offer candid information on. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, and also if you do have any questions, just put them in the comments below and we'll gladly answer them. Thank you.